Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about, uh, you know, understanding that really all we have to have to get by is barbell exercises and some body weight movements. And I, and I really think that pretty much everyone uh, can reach pretty close to their maximum size, strength, muscular potential with these tools. I'm not saying other tools aren't useful. I'm not saying I don't use other stuff. Okay, so I want to be clear there. I'm not saying I don't use other stuff. I mean, you guys see a glued ham raise and a reverse hybrid over there in the background. I have all these bands and chains and, you know, different stuff. But when, you, when it really comes down to it and you look at what you have available, you can get really, really, really far with barbell movements. You know, what do you need? A, a rack, a good bench, you know? Of course, I have a, a special bench station set up there for, you know, almost a powerlifting style bench. Uh, you know, but you don't have to have that. You can have a bench you can drag over into your rack, an adjustable bench for incline, maybe some decline. Oh, man, then you got something, right? But, but really, is, isn't that all you really need? Right? A good bench you can drag into a power rack, a good barbell, good quality barbell, some plates, a pull-up bar on that rack. I mean, look how much you can do with that. Just watch if you'll see me doing in this video. All the way down to your bicep exercises. In fact, arguably my favorite tricep exercises just with a barbell, like the JM press. Okay? Of course, you see all those dumbbell handles down there. I mean, I have other stuff. But, but really, what, what's our foundation? And those things, everything else is just kind of, um, it's nice to have. They're useful tools to have. But really, what is our, builds our base? What really builds our foundation? Where is the real muscle, the real strength built? It's off barbells. It's off body weight things. You know, pull-ups, right? I can crank out sets of 12 pull-ups all day long. And I'm well over 200 pounds and almost 50 years old. All right? But also look at the back. And pull-ups. Uh, a lot of guys get great results with dips. Now, granted, you need special dipping bars. Um, and I don't personally like dips as much, but I know a lot of guys who get phenomenal results with dips. They can be a good exercise. Uh, I like hanging leg raises, which you'll see me do through here. So if we talk about just calisthenic movements. To me, those are those are big ones right there. Hanging leg raise, hanging from a pull-up bar. Pull-ups, chin-ups. Man, those, those bring a lot to the table. I feel like they do. I think they bring a lot to the table. All right, for leg development. Squats. You saw me doing squats right there at the start. They're both a body weight exercise and a barbell movement. Can you have to factor that weight in? You know, you figure how much weight am I really doing for all those high reps? Well, 200 pounds of my body probably plus that barbell. Right? It's a body weight exercise. Rows, curls. Hey, we do all this stuff, but yeah, lower body, we have squats. How about deadlifts? How about Romanian deadlifts? Good mornings, front squats. How about split squats with a barbell? How about lunges with a barbell? And, and granted, I prefer to use dumbbells for a lot of that sort of stuff. But if all you had was a barbell, split squats, lunges, squats, front squats, your quads would be jacked. You get really good at all those. All right, what about that posterior chain? Like I just said, deadlifts. Romanian deadlifts, good mornings. Now, if you want to talk body weight movement, see that glute ham device I have back there? It's a real efficient tool for putting a lot of meat on your hamstrings with a body weight exercise. There are other ways to do them with it without one of those. Okay. I don't think they're quite as potentially useful because you don't get that range of motion, but you can still do natural, natural like Nordic curls. Okay. You have options. And even just with the plates, look at uh, smaller things you can do. I just did those plate pullovers there with a plate instead of using a dumbbell. You can do curls with plates. You can do laterals with plates. I mean, I, this is what people don't realize. 
look what you can do with just the barbell and body weight stuff and the plates. You can literally work every muscle in your whole body and you can do all the biggest strength builders. Okay, this is your foundation. This is your foundation. And I would say to most people, even if you, if you can't get to a gym and you're gonna do a home gym because it fits your schedule and your space, what do you really need? Good rack like I've got there, adjustable bench, barbell plates. You can work every muscle in your body. When you throw a pull-up bar on there and you get all those things. You get the, the leg raises, pull-ups, chin-ups. If you're super hardcore, yeah, you can do muscle-ups. And those are legit. You know, that's legit, dude. Show me somebody who can do 10 muscle-ups and I'll show you somebody who's in pretty good shape. Right? These tools, they'll build your base. This is where the work is done. And, you know, everyone always feels like, I see a lot of people are like, well, if I don't have these machines, I can't do this. I can't isolate this. And it's like, since when? What a ridiculous idea. And just because there are certain bodybuilders who are like, oh, I prefer machines. I mean, I mean, no offense intended to anyone, but has that ever produced Mr. Olympias? I mean, has that ever produced the best bodybuilders? I mean, I remember back in the day reading magazines of certain bodybuilders like, oh, I prefer machines only over over all these weights, but I'm like, you play 17th. And you go look at the guy in first place and he's over there doing heavy deadlifts. I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there. And I'm not against machines. I think some machines can be useful. But let's let's be serious here. Are they going to build your base? No, of course not. It's not going to be the same. And then you need all these big expensive machines. And then you feel like you have to go to a gym that has them because that's all you know how to use. If we just learn the basics. And then you use things like that to fill in the gaps by all means. You know, but then it's like, well, what if you need a little more than this stuff? Well, then this is where a good set of adjustable dumbbells. Or if you, or if you really got money in space, a dumbbell rack. But then you go to a commercial gym. Any, even the most basic box gym has all this stuff I just described plus a full set of dumbbells. I mean, really, what more do people really need than this? Maybe a set of bands? You can bring your own bands to a gym. All right. You can do everything with the equipment I just described. Like I said, even plates can be used in some cases in place of dumbbells for some exercises. Right? It really can. People say, well, I can't do my laterals heavy. I never would ever really do them with a 45 pound plate in each hand. You're a bad dude if you can do that. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.